when you need to add a larger volume of new records into Spire, or change values on a large number of records, you can use the import procedure to populate your company data, rather than entering or editing them all individually. To access the import process, from the Tools menu, choose Import. This opens a screen where you can determine which data you want to update and how to do it. If you have performed an import before, the most recently used template will automatically be loaded for you. Or you can open another previously saved template with required configuration settings from an INI file. If this is the first time importing into your company data using this file layout, there are some selections and setups that need to be identified. The Import Type drop-down field is the place you choose what you want to import, such as your chart of accounts, customers, inventory items, sales orders, or other record or transaction types. After selection, the list of available fields is displayed in the Spire Fields area on the right. Use the Browse Files button to locate the Excel or CSV formatted file that contains the information you want to import. Or use the Browse Folders button to set the folder that contains the import file. Perhaps this file was created by exporting from a Spire screen for the purpose of updating information for selected records. Or perhaps this file was created by an external application source for the purpose of adding new records or transactions into Spire. After the file is selected, you will see the field values from the first row of that file in the Import File area at the left. This may be the first record you want to import, or it may be column titles in the spreadsheet. When importing, you would want to skip the column titles by the selecting the Has Header Row option, which also displays the second row from Import File. That would be your first row of data. In order to import dates successfully, ensure the selected date format matches how dates in the import file are formatted. Then you can create the connections between the file to import and the data layout. Highlight an import field on the left and its associated Spire field on the right, and click the Match button to link them together and move them to the display below. Repeat this process for all import fields. In the Spire fields list, some key fields will be identified as required, so ensure that your import file contains columns for all of these and are matched. Otherwise, the import is guaranteed to fail. If you need to disconnect fields that were matched incorrectly, highlight the link and click the Unmatch button. If an import file field is not matched to any Spire field, it will be skipped during the import procedure. You can browse through the contents of the selected import file by clicking either the left or right arrow buttons below to scroll through the import file field values and see them next to the Spire field names as a spot check for verification prior to importing. When the field matching connections are all completed, you can save them along with the import type to a template so that you don't have to reconfigure them again if you want to use this layout again in the future. After importing, if you wish to move the source file to a different folder, you can optionally set a destination folder after a successful import, so that the file is not accidentally imported a second time. Or also optionally set a failure folder if errors are found during the import, to indicate that corrections are necessary before you try again. When you are ready to start, click the Import button to begin the process. Verification is performed and any errors found are displayed in a pop-up window. Otherwise, the changes are complete and the new records and values will be added to your company data. For some import types, there are additional options or considerations. For either the sales order or purchase order type, there is an additional group by field in the Spire fields area. If you choose to map this group by field to the order number field in the source file, instead of the sales or purchase order number, then instead of reading the source file to assign the order number, the next order number from the company setting sequence will be used. 
With sales order and inventory adjustment types, there is an additional post immediately option. For sales orders, this creates the invoice along with the order. For adjustments, this posts the transactions and not just save them into a batch. Inventory transfers has a receive immediately option that behaves in the same way as adjustments. If you would like more information about Spire Accounting, access the link in the description below to our homepage. Read the online manual help for additional assistance. Watch more videos from this playlist. And subscribe to the Spire YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.